Hello everyone, Lancer here, welcome you back to this bonus episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, where we are going to take on Giragos. Is that this guy's name? Garagon, okay. Yeah, so basically this is one of the super bosses of the game. This guy's pretty much like fighting the four elemental archfiends all at the same time. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I have zero faith that I'm gonna win this battle. And I'll tell you why. I'm not in level 99, I'm in like around level 85 to 87, because uh, I completely lost any patience with level grinding. I don't have any um, adamant armor, which is what you pretty much need, because you need something you need for this battle is elemental defense. Status defense is good too, but elemental defense is a must. Because as you can see, this guy just hurts you so bad, it's just ridiculous. I think he has like 20,000 HP or something like that. Um, yeah. But yeah, you want to cast slow on him, you want to, uh... Oh my god, look at that. Okay, why did Phoenix not work the first time? Maybe because it was death, maybe it doesn't work after death, I don't know. But yeah. Basically, you you just want to like physically attack him, use uh, Bahamut, um, try to put Blink on your party, haste if you can, uh, I guess you could do like Shell. I don't think this guy physically attacks you, but, but like I said before, I seriously doubt I'm going to be winning this battle, so I, I'm basically just showing this battle off. Probably not going to win it, so yeah. Oh my god. Okay, how much did that just hurt Rydia? Like, probably like four times the HP she actually has? Really? Wow, that's... <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. But fortunately, I can do Omnicast, uh... Arise. So, I might actually win this battle if I get lucky and... He doesn't spam attacks. Probably won't happen, but I'm just saying. I mean, I seriously don't expect to win this battle, but I figured I would at least uh, show this battle off. And if I don't win this battle, there's probably no point in showing the other battle off, because it's apparently even harder. So, yeah, that'd be kind of pointless. Stone touch. I'm really not that worried about that, but it could come into play if Cecil were to get petrified, and that's that wouldn't be good at all. So, yeah. See, we may slowly beat him eventually, and Kane, please stop missing. Is he blind? No. I think this guy just has really high evasion. I think that's what it is. So, yeah. Haste. And this guy seems to be obsessed with status ailments like slow and things of that nature. Which is kind of being very counterproductive here. Oh boy. Lightning. Oh, and too bad. That's probably his weakest uh, spell, basically. Honestly, I'm surprised I've survived for this long. I thought I'd be dead already, in all honesty. Doing that, that just like takes off all my haste and everything. I gotta do it again and uh. Here, Raja! But yeah, if you don't have elemental defense in this battle, like adamant armor and things like that, like doing the whole adamant armor cursed ring thing, you're probably not gonna win. Oh crap. Okay, please don't do a spell after this. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Big time. Okay, that, that's fine, because that doesn't actually hurt me physically or anything. Just don't touch. Okay, yeah, that's fine, too. Just don't do, like, Inferno or anything like that. Inferno's probably, like, the worst attack he does. At least it seems that way. Ooh, that was nice. Thank you, Edge. Yes, he'll just do two Kirajas, I guess. Why not? Thank you for 
for that. Well, th okay, Kane, you know, I might as well just stop attacking Kane, because apparently he can't hit him. That's apparently what we're looking at. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, just let me heal. Don't do any attack spells or anything. Just let me heal, and we'll be good to go. Basically. Come on. Come on. Screw Gold Needle. We need to do freaking do dual cast. Come on. Let's go. Oh, well, I'm dead. 